feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy and I'd like to show you how I made these beautiful lightweight envelopes. I'm using deli paper. You can see here it's quite transparent. It's very light. It's, it's not tissue paper. It's actually a, a food style paper. Now what I've done is I've grabbed an A4 piece of paper and I've wrapped the deli paper around it. I taped it at the back using a bit of washi tape just so it's easy to remove. And I've done it like this to hold it down on both sides. So make sure you've got enough tape to make it stay square. Now once you put that through your printer, you've got this beautiful light soft print. Now I've used the Ode to the Bees, which is a printable from Nick the Booksmith. I backed it off at 80% and that just gave me the bees. Now when you take it off the background paper, just work out where you want your pattern to be. I've provided the pattern for you for free for this one. This pattern will go across the page that way and you can turn it around and put it on the portrait. Now just trace around it. I'm just using pencil. Now that we've traced around it, just you can use scissors. I've just used a craft knife. It just gives me, especially for envelopes, it gives me a nice clean edge. Because this paper is very light, just take your time when you cut it because if you drag your knife across and it's not sharp, it'll just sort of scrunch it up and tear it rather than cut it. So do take your time. Now rub out the lines, the pencil lines. Now we're ready to actually put the envelope together. It is pretty easy to make. So just flip it over and get your ruler on that straight line and fold over the first flap of the side. I just use my scan and cut scraper to do this because it's really fine. Pushing it against the ruler and do the same to the other side. Make it parallel with the edge of the envelope. And fold down that flap. Now this flap can be put on the inside of the envelope or the outside. I'll show you in a minute. Now we're going to fold the, the back piece towards the flap. Just use your fingers to crease. This envelope is designed that the flaps go under this top piece, but you can if you want to, and if it's a look you're after, you can put it over the top. And square the flap off and fold it. So these now are the flaps, what they look like over the top. And like I said, you might not like this, the, the little side panels showing over the top. It just, once they're glued down, they're not as noticeable. But um, I'm going to put mine underneath. I'm using art glitter glue today because it dries clear and you only need the tiniest amount. Now don't put it all the way up that side fold piece because the, well, the back of the envelope only comes up to the angle of that. Now that's pretty much your envelope made. You can round the corners which I'll, I didn't do on my first one, but I'll, I'll do it on this one. Now do take your time, again, because this deli paper is just a different paper to work with. You can leave it like this, or you can use your Distress Ink to, to put a stencil design on it. I've used a honeycomb and a flower. You could 
leave the envelope plain like this just with the bees on it it's got I've printed this at 80% so it's hasn't got the honeycomb showing that come on the actual printout I backed it off because I want to use my own colors and my own designs on it but I'm going to use two stencils my first one will be the honeycomb and I'm going to do it in two colors the dried marigold and the abandoned coral and then I'm going to go over the top with these flowers and I'll do that in the vintage photo just gives a little bit of a different look and I think that looks really pretty okay, so you just start off by um, using my dried marigold first don't need to go overly heavy you just want it to show up it's a good idea to let your paper dry too before you start doing this sort of stuff so I'm getting some light and some dark in it over this side let me back it off a bit lighter change colors and go in with some abandoned coral the reason I've done the change of colors is to just give it a bit more of a floral look I'm putting the stencil back on where it was before just so that it doesn't look too messed up and very lightly just adding some pink in there line it up down here and you can actually not put any more color in and get some good color out of that so if you want it to fade out just back it off ever so slightly and that fades out that gives a bit of interest there now I'm going back over the same pattern again and I've got two remember so you've got to line up the two going very light on the front I don't want it too obvious but I'm going to darken this corner and blend it out this one here I'll do similar and I am just not I'm just going to blend it into this one here now I'm going to use the vintage photo and put some I'm not going to do the whole thing I'm just going to pick some random areas so two or three flowers show up I'll go dark in the middle again dark in the middle again I'm just picking those three flowers and then I'm blending it out gently so down here I'll just pick that flower blend it in the middle and just blend it out you have a sneak peek before you pick it up to know if you need to go darker and that looks very pretty it's one of my favorite techniques now if you don't want it to go under here which I don't just grab a piece of paper and put here I'll do one full flower in the middle and then blend it out some more down here blending out 
out, dark in the middle. And that just gives that nice extra something something. And that's the envelope all finished. This deli paper is just so nice to work with. It just gives you a, another use for it other than just using it as pages in your book. You can um, make these envelopes. You can make them in a variety of styles. I've made this one with the square, with the um, big, bigger size envelope, which are really lovely to put in your journals. And then I've also made one in the traditional size, which is a lot smaller. So if you've got some patterns of the envelopes and you want to make it just a little bit smaller, that's about four and a half inches by three. That I just used a full stamp and after I've made the envelope, and I just stamped on that and I've colored the edges both front and back and just very slightly on the edge of this one just to give it some um, a, you know a nice line so get your deli paper you can go crazy and fill it all in and get something totally different it's ideal for making these envelopes if you haven't got any glassine envelopes and you've got plenty of this deli paper, it's a good idea to um, help you use some of that up. I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.